right, guys. I, uh, I've been moving some stuff this week. I uh, got two semi loads of our new ICF block that I'm gonna be bringing this build behind you to. And actually we've already uh, sent out one pool kit with it. We're sending out two more pool kits with it next week. So we added two semis roll in and I'm gonna do the announcement video on what it is and give you the full uh, tour of the whole suite of products that this company has next week because my next semi of the block will have one thing that I don't have any of right now. So I've got almost all my product, but I am missing one thing and it's kind of a big part of their new line of products. So I don't want to do a full reveal until I have those. But let's see, I'm gonna flip the screen around here. I'm gonna give you a tour of this job site real quick, kind of give you, Doug is finishing up the dig today. It's a slab on grade, so it's just footing ditches. But I'm gonna give you kind of a synopsis of how we did all the figuring. All right, you can see over here, we got a whole bunch of uh, pucked two inch foam for the hydronic heat and a whole bunch of ICF hiding behind there. And then I was too lazy last night to actually go ahead and offload my trailer. So I just unhooked it, loaded. So you can see I've got a whole trailer load of block and another, another pallet of, uh, of the thermal foam. So I got corners and straights on there. I don't know, I probably moved at least one semi of it over here and uh, we're, in a, we're in pretty good shape. Doug's got his, uh, his skid, it's a little bit nicer than mine. Although I tell him all the time, mine's a little older, it's a T300 so it doesn't have the def on it and everything. We have the same engine and he could outrun me because he's got that speed gear in it. But if we had to fight, this T770 would lose to that T300. I could flip him over on his back and then he would be helpless. We, these are the things us rednecks talk about. But he brought his dozer over because this, uh, this tree here and that tree back there have to go. They're too close to the house. And uh, I'll probably shoot video on that next week because it's always fun watching him wreak havoc with that big dozer. I got my telly over here because we're going to be putting roof and everything up on, up, on the, uh, up on here. So the telly comes in so handy to get sheet goods and steel and everything else up high. So yeah, we got the rest of the block stacked up here. This job site's pretty neat because it has another house over here that they're remodeling for his son. They got 20 acres. It's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty place. This excavator is pretty sweet. Doug's hopping on to finish up the ditch. We're gonna leave one little gap. I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of exactly how we're gonna lay out this house. We've, uh, we've got access to a total station, thank God, because this house is 170 feet long from one end of the garage to the far end of the bedroom. So laying it out with uh, you know typical A squared plus B squared equals C squared math would be pretty tricky, especially since there's a 30 degree um, dog leg in the house. So you can see right here, I just painted a spot and that is my benchmark. It's an arbitrary spot that is above grade. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a slope this way a little bit toward the house. So I had the homeowner come out. It's a slab on grade. We figured from the very, very high point over here to the low point on the house, we have about three feet of fall. So we figured out if I want to be about my slab to be at least eight inches out of the ground over here at the high point and stay that level, we need to be from that benchmark the slab will be 16 inches down from that tree stump. So for the slab to be 16 inches down, I start, I start there and then I go find out my low point is in this corner over here. And so I start going down increments of 16 until I'm in the dirt. And then from there, I go down another 12 inches for my footer to get through. And uh, we have a frost, a frost depth of, they claim 18 inches, but our footers only have to be 12 in the ground so we are we're 18 in the ground everywhere but just barely starting here and then so what we do so we're in the ground i did the math to come up with an even number of blocks to the floor because the ceiling height on the first floor is 12 feet the blocks we're using are 16 inches high so that's an even multiple of 12 foot which is what that's going to do is if we have our slab grade at exactly Right over here, it'll be three blocks. It'll step up to two blocks. It'll be two blocks all the way across here. The reason we haven't dug, you can see our line that is not dug out yet. 
we're gonna bring a good bit of gravel, probably four or five dump truck loads and just dump it out here in the middle. So it's less volume of rock we've got to put in here after we get the wall poured. So that's the only thing we're waiting on. He's gonna do that on Monday. My boys are showing up Monday and we're gonna start the uh, fast foot, which I'm pretty excited to start bringing you. So you can see we've got the ditches here ready to start running the fast foot. He's just now getting ready over here to dig the uh, garage. It's actually detached, connected by a breezeway where they will park most of the time. So the area between him and this ditch is actually a breezeway. And the garage actually has to drop down another 16 inches to get the far corner in the ground. So I think from the benchmark down to here, we were 76 inches down. From over there, we were 92 inches down. And he's going to, uh, that's going to leave me an even number of blocks with no rips to the top, to the top of the ceilings in the first floor. We may have some rips on the second floor. It'll just be what it is, but that's minimal. Now, something you'll see here is my steps are all 16 inches. You can go 16, 32, whatever and not create, you see the step right there? Um, it will, it will uh, not create rip courses. So we've really kind of taken our time on the layout here so that we can avoid having any rips or waste. There, I'm hoping when I get this done, the literal waste, for one thing, this block, again, a few of you guys have uh, been able to tell what it is because you guys are kind of aware of the market and know what's coming and know what's new and exciting that's coming out but the rest of you will wait one more week till i can really get into a deep dive on the entire um we got a bunch of knockdown stuff coming is what we're waiting on and i want to be able to show you that because uh it's a pretty important part of the system but yeah you kind of see all this is level i think it steps down over there or over there somewhere so we kept it we did the math very very carefully so that I will not have any rips. I'll have a little waste around windows and doors, but this block is kind of made to optimize even that. So I got a feeling my pile of garbage is just gonna be a few, a few trash bags full of waste on this gigantic house. So anyway, guys, um, between this and the pool, that's uh, pretty much the little things that have been going on locally in the Ozarks. I shipped a pool kit out last week and a big one. Um, up to Iowa, which you guys may have seen. And um, this week we're gonna ship another one up to Minnesota, I think. I can't, maybe Michigan. I get confused about where they're going. And uh, got, got another one going. I actually have two pool kits going out next week, which given that we're already into October, uh, Eric is really doing a fantastic job keeping you guys uh, well supplied with pool stuff. It's kind of exciting to see that um, market staying as hot as it is going into fall. Um, but like I said, guys, for all of your ICF needs, hit us up at uh, support at ICF or support at all three pools.com for all of your ICF needs. Cause we, we are going to be, um, very proudly carrying what I think is going to be one of the great, uh, new products on the market. So like I said, reach out, uh, send us your plans. We'll get a quote back to you delivered to your job site really quick and uh, like I said, you can build one like this. I can't, I can't wait to bring you this one. It's an absolutely perfect plan to accentuate all of the, uh, all of the new things and good technology that's in the ICF industry. 